Saints. I think I'm muted. I think I'm muted. I think I'm muted.
Good morning, saints. How is it with your souls this fine day? Welcome to worship. We have a wonderful celebration time this day, so we're going to get through the announcements quick and get right to the heart of the matter. Uh, if you have purchased gifts for the warrior giving, they need to be here at the church today. If you didn't bring them today, then you need to contact Dana Billingsley so she knows to, um, that you're going to bring them and you can make arrangements to bring them to the church in time for them to be sorted and given away. Next Sunday after church, we're Christmas caroling and down at Regency, and then we're coming back for goodies. So goodies last week, goodies this week, goodies next week, and goodies the week after, because on the 18th, we're going to be celebrating Carol's retirement. Yay! She's not done done, but we thought that we would uh, give her kudos and give everybody a chance to say thank you to her for all she's done for the church as she's worked as our office administrator. Beth has a couple of announcements, so go for it. Yeah, just a couple. So um, the kids have been working. Uh, that's on. The kids have been working super hard. We're really excited to uh, show you our program today, um, and we'll get that going here in a little bit. I just wanted to do a quick announcement that um, "Away in a Manger" lyrics are going to be on the screen um, during the program, but that's for the kids. So if you want to sing along with them, feel free, um, but it is for the kids um, just because they asked for that. So, Very good. Okay. Are there any other announcements that need to be shared at this time? All right then, friends. Oh, Jody's got one. Jody's got one. Well, cookie walk. And cookie walk. We'll do that yes. And the cookie good. walk is right next door here. It is free will donation. Come get your sugar buzz on. I, yes, indeed. Yes. So sugar buzz in the back, sugar buzz to take home. We're all set, friends. It's all good. <laughs> Blessed Christmas preparation to everybody. All right. Anything else? All right, then, friends. Our first hymn to celebrate this day is It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. And um, then we'll light the Advent wreath.
You may be seated. Since our liturgy is kind of out of order for a very good cause today, we're going to take the offering now. So if you have your attendance card with prayer requests or joys on the back, um, get those out now so you can put them in the plate. And let's just take a moment and breathe together as a congregation. And this is all, life is always busy, but this is also an extra busy time of year, is it not? And so take just a moment and think about how you've seen the gift of God, the gifts of God shown to you in these last few days. Where have you noticed God's presence in the world or had an opportunity to reach out in kindness and generosity and service to another? Think on those blessings. It's important at this time of year especially, but all, and always, to think every day about where our blessings come from and how God has reached out to us or been shown to us, revealed God's self to us in the days as we live them. So with grateful hearts for all that God does for us, all the ways that God has shown to us, let's give ourselves back to God through what we do and how we live through our tithes and our offerings. So Jessica is going to play beautiful Christmas music for us. And if you know the words to whatever she's going to play, you are most welcome <laughs> to sing along. And then we'll pray afterward and then do the lighting of the Advent candle. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, you pour your blessings upon the whole world, and especially in these days of Advent, we are aware that the promise of your continued blessing, continued work in the world, goes on and on and on and on, and you do, never, do not ever give up. We give you thanks for all that you have given us, all that we are, even the challenges of our lives. We return to you what is yours, and we give ourselves to you, and ask your blessing upon these gifts and upon this service, that in our life together, we may see your light and be blessed so that we can reveal your light to the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. They will not hurt or destroy on all my mount, holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall require, inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. We are the followers of that root of Jesse that Isaiah spoke of. We are the ones who are now called to stand as a signal to the world, to all of creation, that peace is the will of the one who created us. Peace is the knowledge of the Lord that we proclaim from sea to shining sea. 
In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near, and bear fruit worthy of repentance. We light these candles, the candle of joyful hope, and the candle of proclaimed peace, in part to remind ourselves that we are a people rising towards God's promise. But we also light them as a sign to the world, an announcement that there are some who hold on to hope, and there are some who work the ways of peace. We stand as a sign that Emmanuel is still our fervent prayer. Now we have a video. from Jerusalem, you met to Abraham by camel. And they found 
baby. And its name was Jesus. The shepherds left to tell everyone, like every single person, to tell them that Jesus had arrived. The wise men uh, see the star and they ask Herod about it. We're going to pretend that this is King Herod. And he said, show me the newborn king so I can worship him too. But he was trying to trick the wise men. The wise, wise, wise men. They brought some gifts. One was gold. One was, I don't remember, bronze. And one was, I don't remember, iron or something. Mm, a cradle. Kyle, would you give baby Jesus your binky? No. <laughs> A little bit of gold. Probably a stuffed animal. Pro and um probably a candle. I would probably give him my time, so probably worship him and just give him my time. to remember that you know kids are listening and they're they're learning the story they get parts wrong and it's super cute when they do um, but what's important is that we just continue to tell the story to them so that they learn it and that they they just know and so yeah um, I feel like there was a couple other announcements but I can't think of it right now so we are gonna bring in the kids Neil I'm gonna have you turn up the microphones super loud just so we can make sure we're hearing everyone um, and I am excited to introduce a very mixed up Christmas pageant. <laughs> Charlie, I can't believe it is Christmas time already. This is always my favorite time of the year. Hey Isaac, I know, 2022 went by really fast. And I agree, this is my favorite time of year too. One of my favorite traditions is doing the Christmas program at church. Mine too, but I can't believe all the adults got the flu this year, so now it's up, now it's up, all up, so now this pro, so now it's up to us to get this program up and running this year. That's a big responsibility. I know, I'm thrilled about the running the program part, not the flu part. Anyway, this is our time to shine. I'm excited. I just hope we don't mess up. <laughs> don't worry, Charlie, we won't mess it up. Let's start setting up for our Christmas program. Our first problem. I seem to have lost the key to the costume closet, so now we don't have costumes for the dress rehearsal. No costumes? Oh, 
great. Well, now what are we going to do? We can't do a Christmas we can't do a Christmas program with no costumes. Our parents will be devastated. Is there anything else we can work with? Mostly wings and hails. I see we have a sheep. Can we do, can we do a program about just the angels? Hmm, yeah. I don't really think the angels are the main idea of the Christmas story. There has to be something we can do. Well, our church Halloween party wasn't that long ago. I bet the box of costumes is still out. Maybe we can just wear our Halloween costumes. Hey, that's a great idea. Plus, it'll make the Christmas story much more interesting. Nothing says Christmas like Halloween costumes. <laughs> what? Halloween costumes? No, I really don't think that's a good idea. It won't make any sense. I think it's all we have to work with. Okay, I'll text everyone before they get here to stop in the youth room to put on a Halloween costume. We'll start the dress rehearsal when everyone gets here. Thanks for coming, everyone, and thanks for being flexible. I can tell. This is going to be great. Okay, so I guess we'll just run through the Christmas pageant, and if we need to make changes along the way, we'll do that. Places, everybody. God help us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think we really know where to go in Halloween costumes. Good point. Okay, I'll s okay. let's see who we have here. Well, we have a few angels, they, so that's easy. They can be angels. Who else do we have? Wonder Woman, Darth Vader, Harry Potter, Hermione Grant, and Jer Ron Weasley, a dragon, a firefighter, a fairy, a ballad dancer. Well, maybe we can read the Christmas story and see where everyone fits. Good idea. Let's start. Long ago, in the small desert town of Nazareth, in the country of Judea, lived a young woman named Mary. One day, an angel appeared to Mary. The angel said... Okay, okay. So the angel is an angel, but who will be Mary? I'll do it. Great, Wonder Woman is Mary. Angel, go ahead with your line. I cannot do this. This is not what Mary looks like. <laughs> well, in fairness, the Bible doesn't tell us what Mary looks like. But the Bible does tell us who Mary is, right? So God chose Mary to give birth to his only son, Jesus. Something everyone thought was impossible, something that that saved the world. So in a way, Mary is like the superhero, Wonder Woman. So Mary could fly. Well, no, she couldn't fly. But she did have a superhero-like trust in God's promise. Okay, cool. Yes, cool, keep going. So the angel said to Mary, Greetings, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. You shall have a child, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will reign over God's people forever, and his kingdom shall have no end. How shall this be since? I am not Mary. The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you, and your baby will be the Son of God. I am 
God's servant, let it be done as he has said. Now, Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Who could be our Joseph? Can I do it? He doesn't look like Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter, not a firefighter. Yes, you're right, Charlie, but we're short a carpenter cost you. <laughs> Joseph is someone who shows up when Mary needs him, even though it's whiskey. True, and he's dressed as someone we can count on to help, no matter what. Good point. Great, you're in. Continue. Joseph didn't know what to think when Mary told him about the baby. But then the angel appeared to Joseph. The angel said, Do not be afraid to marry Mary because God has chosen her. This baby will be the Messiah. Meanwhile, in a very different part of Judea, King Herod received an unexpected visit. All right, we need a Herod. <laughs> I think I make a good Herod. Because Herod was really Jesus' father? <laughs> no, definitely not. But King Herod is the villain of the Christmas story. He's jealous of Jesus and wants to have all the power, so he does a lot of evil things. But he's still a child of God, so there's probably still good in him somewhere. Darth Vader is perfect. Continue. Three magi came from the east, following a star in the sky. They stopped to meet with Herod. Okay, who can be our magi? Well, the Bible doesn't say that they were three magi, just that they gave three gifts. That's true. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and more. Correct. Anyway, I think Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley should be the Magi. Because the Magi cast a spell on Herod? Again? No, Charlie. But the Magi were probably King's Peace of Scotland. And they probably loved to study and were very wise. And no one is wiser and loves to study more than Hermione Granger. But probably Harry Potter was more wiser but didn't love to study. <laughs> I agree. I think Harry, Hermione, and Ron sound great. You three are the Magi. The Magi knew the prophecy. A child born in Judea would become the new king of the Jews. Herod also knew the prophecy and was very upset. Herod wanted to be the only king. Go and find the child and come back and tell me where he is. Uh, why? Because I want to destroy him. Wait, I mean worship him. Yeah, worship. <laughs> hmm, weird. Oh well, let's follow the star to the baby. Is someone going to be the star? Do you want to be the star? Yes. Well, that's the dancer. You're always the star of the show, so that makes sense. But I was thinking, I could also give directions, like the map on a phone, because I'm showing them the way. Why not? You're the star. Go, Sean. The Magi continued on their journey. 
in 40 feet. Turn left, turn left, turn left. When Mary was almost ready to have her baby, she and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. Mary rode on a donkey. Who wants to meet the donkey? What about a dragon? Perfect! When they arrived, there were no rooms at the inn, so Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable. Meanwhile, in the nearby hills, there were shepherds keeping watch over their flocks by night. Can fairies be shepherds? Why? Because because shepherds sprinkle fairy or because shepherds sprinkle dust on their sheep like fairies sprinkle fairy dust? <sighs> no, Charlie. I don't think shepherds did that. <coughs> but I think she but I think fairies will work as shepherds because, because, I, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas, but they can still be the shepherds. Suddenly an angel appeared to them saying, Do not be afraid. I bring the news. A day to happy born. Today in Bethlehem, he is the Messiah. Go and look for a baby in a manger. Then a whole host of angels appeared, singing and praising God. Shepherds hurried into town and found baby Jesus in a manger, just like the angel said. He's so nothing to all the people. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest heaven. Well, if we want to add a baby Jesus, we really just have one option. You're not suggesting we use that little, that little pumpkin to the manger scene, are you? There's no way he'll stay up there. You're probably right. But let's try to add him anyway, just for a picture. Maybe if someone gives him a sucker, he'll sit for a little bit. Anyone have a sucker? <laughs> okay, shepherds, I mean fairies, continue with your line.
Let us worship him. He is our king. I'm so amazed. The star settled over Bethlehem, and a little while later, the Magi arrived from the east. Rerouting, rerouting, rerouting. Everyone knew that this child was truly the Son of God. The shepherds went and spread the good news across the land. The Magi were warmed in a dream not to trust Herod, so they went back a different way. Wait, stop. This is just too strange and mixed up, but good news. I just remembered my mom has a spare key to the costume closet. <laughs> so now we can use the real costumes. But I want... <laughs> But I want to be Mary, the superhero. There's nothing better than a dragon and a manger. <laughs> but the costumes are more authentic. I mean, is it? It's really hard to imagine the first Christmas no one knew the story to yet. Angels appeared to the shepherds, kings bound to the peasants. There's a baby where animals eat. Everything must have seemed strange and mixed up. Maybe as strange as Wonder Woman, Harry Potter, Darth Vader, and a dragon performing a Christmas pageant. And Jesus said the good news is meant for everyone. And God brought all those people together on that first Christmas for a reason. Hmm. So, so maybe having something like Wonder Woman and a firefighter in the manger scene will help us remember that the joy of Christmas is for all people, no matter, no matter who, who we are, no matter what we look like. God gave us this mixed up world, and we rejoice in it. As we know, the angel's prophecy came true. Jesus did come as a baby to save us all. He was fully human, fully God, and every Christmas we celebrate his first day on earth when everything changed forever. Merry Christmas! You guys did so great. Let's give them one more round of applause for that. It was so wonderful. Okay, so kids, go ahead and have a seat. We just have a couple of announcements to make here. Um, so after the program, we have a continental style type breakfast open for everyone. We have lots of wonderful goodies back there, so feel free to help yourself. Also, um, in the room off to the side, there's a Christmas craft to do. Um, it's a Christmas bulb. There's also Christmas cookies for the kids to decorate. Um, and so I just, um, parents, if you want to accompany at least the small children in there and just kind of help out with them in there, um, that would be helpful. And I think... We might have a special visitor. I think Santa doesn't come in unless we sing his favorite song. What is his favorite song? All right, we better start so he'll come in and visit us. <laughs>
All right, so what we're going to do, kids, is we have one special song to help us end our program. Um, like I said, the, um, there's the craft and the cookies out there to decorate. Help yourself to breakfast, please. There's lots to eat. Um, and then Santa will be handing out a gift. He, there's a picture uh, picture taking station set up with a fireplace. Um, and so go ahead and feel free to take your turn taking pictures with Santa and he'll hand out gifts and we'll just have a great rest of our Sunday. So I invite you all now to, s or any more announcements at all? We're gonna pray. We'll pray, we should do that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> We don't have to. I thought it might be a good idea. We'll pray, and then we're going to sing Angels We Have Heard on High and have a blessing and then go. Will that work? Yeah. All right. Prayer. Let's join together in prayer. Keeper of promises, your messengers remind us that you are the source of peace, justice, mercy, and loving kindness. As we prepare for your coming in your son, Jesus, help us shine as the body of Christ that we may be light for the world's brokenness and darkness. Amen. Let's stand to sing. It's number 238 if you need the music. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, go in joy, love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.